was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. We will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters? Hmm, that does have a nice ring to it. Anyways, as for what was on last night... I saw it too! I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? I looked on TV. Hmm. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yeah, the screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean... He isn't inside the TV yet? If so, then... Uh-huh. I think that's safe to assume. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Yeah, and if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. are correct. Though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. Exactly what we just said. Shut up! Yay! <laughs>
<laughs> oh no! My, my funny bone! <laughs> Not again. Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. Welcome back. somewhere. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. All right, so we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but... As long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. So, uh, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? Don't you think? Well, I kind of understand. They're great girls, but you saw their ugly sides right off, and I guess your first impression is the one that sticks. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Okay, see you tomorrow. who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. Know him, Yukiko? Uh huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. 
so I speak with Kanjikun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan, it's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. What's up with him, weirdo? Huh? Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... Scarf! I've seen this somewhere before. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamano? Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes, it was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well then, please say hello to your mother for me. really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Hmm? It's Kanji-kun. Hide! Hmm. 
You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh! I can't hear what they're saying! T tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school? Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Did he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy, and I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? TV last night was definitely Kanji Kun. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? That's what it seemed like based on the TV image, but his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? Oh, I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no. <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? You really sound like a pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. That reminds me, I need to buy tofu on my way home. Ooh, 
she didn't hear a word I said. Okay then, the stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? I'm getting goosebumps. Target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. Target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. He's here! I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. In the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that! How should we split the teams? Sure. That's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Okay. All right, we'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Uh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go! I wonder if those two will be all right. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. So, shall we? <laughs> Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? Our efforts might be fruitless, but maybe that's for the best. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. 
I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> the same is true for me. Oh, you're right. We'll need to contact each other if anything happens. Man, this is weird. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them! I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> Hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Huh? I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? Oh, well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. S strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait, damn it! This ain't what you think! Y you got it all wrong! Hey! Are you listening, damn it? It seriously ain't like that! We regret to inform. 
that our mission failed. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw! We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. But damn it! Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! running Well nothing happened today so I guess everything's okay But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel If this is anything like Yukiko's case it'll happen soon Then we can't let our guard down I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him Looks like we got no choice Let's go home. I'm wiped. Oh! Welcome home, big bro! surpasses the separation of the sexes. <sighs> I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak-in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Woo!
Well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Hmm. At first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things. But when I gave it a try, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night, No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Hmm. Huh. Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um, this might be a little off subject, but... The culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Oh, wait a sec! I bet he is enjoying it! He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV! Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh! Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan! Oh, eh, eh. Wait, so if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me too? Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face! Kanji, then we crush the killer! Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Got it?
<laughs> Chie, those last two were the same thing. Uh, I know. Hey, Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this Kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about Kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji Kun personally?
Yo!
Whoa, something's here. A, a fox? When did it? Whoa, where did this guy come from? Dude, it looks scary, too. Oh, this apron. I think I've seen it at the shrine before. Huh? Curious with leaves? Huh? Cooperate with us? Are you serious? So he wants money in exchange for fixing us up? with this guy it acts like it understands what we're talking about it yipped again maybe it really does understand what we're saying but, but when you think about it that means the police on duty and whatnot didn't find this fox right if it followed after us then it really is something Huh? You think it really understands us? What should we do? Well, I'd feel bad if we trapped it. It doesn't look like it'll do us any harm. What do you think? Yeah, and thinking about what happened at the shrine. Don't you think this curing would be a big help for us? Huh? Are you suggesting we take it into that other world? Hmm. Mm, I guess that might work. It doesn't seem like it's going to leave that easily either. And I definitely don't want it being all sulky and getting up to mischief in the store. All right, let's brace ourselves. Sifo, listen to my voice, my shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, fated to foam. I said no.
found out more about kanji. Uh-huh. A complex. Um... That's it? That's all I have to go on? You're working me to the stuffing. Oh, well. Then I'll open my nose up real wide and sniff real hard. Hmm. Oh, I think I found something. It feels like our target. Is this it? Follow me! Is it just me, or does the fog here seem kind of different? My glasses are fogging up. Man, it's hot in here. This place is like a... Come here, pussycat. Oh, such well-defined pecs. There's no need to be scared. Uh... Now just relax. Wait a sec, I don't wanna go. Kanji can really hear Teddy? The nose knows! We're really going in here? Oh, I can already feel the sweat rolling down my back. That's because it's so hot! Beat them up! Counting on you! It's not going 
going down. Two enemies! Charge through them! Come on! Awesome! Chie Chan's in rampage mode! Persona! There! Huh? It's over already?
Four oh. enemies? It's a surprise attack! Swatting them left and right! Uh, it got Ooh. back up! Hurry and beat it! S Sensei! Talk him up! Ah, that took forever! But they're too slow. Soda. Three enemies. Let's get through this. Throw down. That's some thick skin.
caught them off guard. There's two yeah. enemies. Counting on you. Persona. That's it, Yosuke. Wow, One Yosuke enemy down. Yeah. Yosuke's on the warpath. Come Keep on. it going. Yeah. Good move, Chie-chan. That's two. Persona. Yeah. on the warpath. Keep it going. I couldn't do it. Uh, it got back up. Hurry and beat it. <laughs> Great, Ooh. Sensei. Go for broke. Counting on you. Ah! It's down. Should we all right. Out of all way. for your undivided attention. At last, I've penetrated the facility. These images are coming to you live from inside this steamy paradise. But I've yet to have any charming encounters. Could this hot fog be the cause? It's like steam rising from sweat. My body's tingling with excitement. is so wrong in so many ways. I remember it being kind of like this on Yukiko's show, too. No, it wasn't like this. Those voices again. Wait, are they louder this time? These voices... I was wondering whose they could be since it's only the victim in here. Is it the people watching outside? You mean everybody who's watching the Midnight Channel? They're reacting to the show? Yikes! If people are watching Kanji Kun now, he's gonna be a legend in a way he never intended. Well, it's really his shadow, not him. But normal people won't know that. The shadows are getting really restless. 
that elusive thing I truly yearn for. Will I finally find it here? <laughs> well then, onward and deeper to reach further realms of romance. Let's get going, damn it! That was his other self. It's trying to reveal his hidden feelings. It seems much worse than that time with Yuki-chan's shadow. At this rate, it might end up getting bare naked. <laughs> Here it comes. Um, was I supposed to laugh? Show them your stuff! Chi-Chan's all confused! Throw down! That's some thick skin! Four enemies left! It's over! Three enemies defeated! Marvelous, Yuki-Chan! Chan's all confused! <laughs> One reinforcement! Hang in there! Soda! <laughs> One enemy! Fight! 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 Throw down! <laughs> it's down! Now oh. run! Ready or not, here we come! Chan's dizzy! <laughs> Yuki Chan, wake up! <laughs> it's down! Good no. answer! Ready or not, here we come! Showing no mercy. Amazing, Sensei! You beat two of them!
monster! Beat the stuffing out of it! <laughs> Persona! Two enemies! Charge through! Slow down! Persona! Someone else's turn. out of it.
Chi-Chan is swatting them left and right! Yum! I can't defeat it! Soda! Just one enemy left! Throw down! Persona! Yosuke! Don't get careless Come now! On. Persona! Someone finish it off! Yo. So persistent! Uh, it got back up! Hurry and beat it! Two more enemies! You gotta hang tight! Throw down! It's not going down. Yuki-chan! This doesn't look good! Can you stand? Two enemies left! Come on! Take this! Yikes, it's tough! Yuki-chan beat an enemy! Keep going! Soda! Alright! Let's keep going! I gotta keep up my training! Another level for me! Sensei! Throw down! Her 
Persona! Damn, it's not going down. Two enemies left! Come on! Take this! Yikes, it's tough! <laughs> so persistent! Sensei! Another level for me! Beat them up! Counting on you! That's some thick skin! Two enemies left! Come on! Here's our chance! Let's do it! I couldn't do it! I'm with you!
laughing out of it! Soda! Three enemies left! Throw down! Damn, it's not going down! Come on! Take it! Couldn't quite beat it! I can't defeat it! Soda! Thick skin. Come on! Yikes! 
guess it's time! Sensei's way. Counting on you. Persona! That's some thick skin. Come on! Yeah. Someone finish it off! It's no war of that every day. Sensei, find your health, okay? Yeah. Great beat it! Persona! There! <laughs> the enemy ran away! Persona! Just one Count enemy on left! Persona! That's some thick skin! Come on! Persona! Chan's really hurting. Oh, so Heal persistent. Her. One enemy. Fight! Fight! fight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Jackie Chan showing no mercy. Throw down. That's some thick skin. Come on, take this. Woohoo, Chan Chan! That's one. I can't defeat it. One enemy! Fight! Help fight! On you. Fight! Come on! Take this! Three more enemies! Grin and bear it! Persona! Good work, Sensei! Nice. That's one so far! Throw oh. down! Persona! Someone else's turn. Two enemies! Charge through them! Take this! Two enemies down! Don't get careless! Whoa, Sensei! I'll knock you it down! Counting on you! Someone else's turn! It got back up! Hurry! 
Hurry and beat it! Come on! The enemy's down! Go, go! Chan's so strong! Good move, Chia Chan! That's two!
Oh, come now. Enough with the charade. Isn't it awful to deceive people? To deceive yourself? What's so bad about doing what I want to do? And that has nothing to do with it. I'm what you really want, aren't I? Hell no! Oh, how I hate girls. So arrogant and self-centered. They cry if you get angry, they gossip behind your back, they spread nasty lies. They look at me like some, some disgusting thing and say that I'm a weirdo. Laughing at me all the while. You like to sew? What a queer! Painting is so not you! But you're a guy! You don't act like a guy! Why aren't you manly? What does it mean to be a guy? What does it mean to be manly? Girls are so scary. I ain't scared of them! Men are much better. They'd never say those awful, degrading things. Yes, I vastly prefer men. Hell with that! What makes you think you can say that shit with my face? Why, you're me. And I'm you. You do know that, don't you? No. No, uh No way! There's no way in hell that you're me! <laughs> you're me, and there's no denying it! Kanji-kun! Everyone, on guard! I am a shadow, the true self. I'm just being true to myself, and that's why... I'll get rid of anything in my way! Are these Kanji-kun's true feelings? This isn't really him! It's just his emotions going haywire! This has nothing to do with you guys anymore! Didn't I just say I'm gonna get rid of you? Soda! this. Here goes! So big and strong! <laughs> Sensei, hurry and get rid of that poison! Soda. Yosuke 
Sunday's all poisoned! I've already made my decision to go through with this. Get out of my way, or I'll crush you! Mm, give me more!
Pinky Chan hurt! Hurry and oh, heal me! <laughs> Chan's hurt! Someone help her! Soda! I'm pissed now! Yukiko, something's wrong. It's still coming at us! Kanji is still rejecting it! Well, I can't blame him with this many witnesses. Such a passionate approach. What? I think that you three would make wonderful boyfriends. S Stop it! Y you got it all wrong! Enough! Stop! What the hell are you blabbering about? I don't care who! Won't someone? Anyone please accept me! Stop it! Accept me for who I am! Whoa, whoa! I really don't swing that way! I said stop it! <laughs> Can't believe something like this is inside me. Kanji, you're... Yeah, I know. I've known all this time I had something like you. It ain't a matter of guys or chicks. I'm just scared shitless of being rejected. I'm a total pansy who tries to make everyone hate me. You make it sound like you've got it all figured out. Come on, get up. Anyone who looks like me, I know they ain't so weak that they can't take a punch. I already know that you're me. You're me. 
I'm you, damn it. Nothing. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> I feel great. It's like my mind's all cleared up. Hey, about what just happened. Yeah, you better. We'll explain everything later. You need to take a rest now. We'll be waiting for you at school. School? Sure, if I ever feel like going. I'll take this guy home. If anyone asks, I'll just say I found him somewhere like this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Remember that Kanji Tatsumi guy I told you about? You know, the one who went nuts on that news special. His family's shop called in to report him missing, but now he's been found. I thought I'd let you know since you go to the same high school. Yeah. One other thing. Some people have seen you around that textile shop lately, I hear. It's not the kind of shop students normally visit. Just what kind of business did you have there? A friend? Oh, that Amagi girl. That's right. Her family's in buys their stuff wholesale. Fine. Just don't get yourself in over your head, okay? Are you fighting again? <laughs> <laughs> 